So guys, for years, I always wanted to have curly hair naturally. I thought it was always really pretty and I always grew up with very straight hair. Um, and so one day I found an online forum that told me how to take care of your hair. And there were a lot of people that were saying that they actually did have curly hair and they just weren't taking the right steps to take care of it, the steps, the right way of washing it, the right way of drying it, um, are all very important for curly hair. And then this video is also to show you what products I use and how I've managed to maintain healthy hair as I've grown out from that pixie that I did that big chop a while ago. Um, so as you can tell, it's getting longer and I am not going to be lightening it. Um, I'm going to keep it dark like this until I get it to the length that I, hopefully, that I want it. Um, people have a terminal length that's where your hair just stops growing and um, you can't really do anything about that. It's genetics. Um, one of the things that I do that I'm not showing in this video I recently started was the hair singeing that I learned from Lopsy and I will link that video down below. Um, she does a really good job of explaining and showing how to do that and it is quite therapeutic and I have noticed I have not really had any split ends. I have maybe one or two here and there. Um, my ends just feel healthier. They curl better. Uh, when you start getting dry damaged ends they won't curl as well um, and even if you don't have curly hair you'll just you know they get stiff, they get dry, they get brittle, they start to break. So my ends feel healthier. My hair just feels like it's in a really good place. Um, and so I wanted to share the routine that I've been doing with you guys so that hopefully this can help you guys have a really good hair care routine, um, especially if you're trying to grow it out long and you're prone to breakage. Um, so my routine has been all about encouraging my natural curls and the natural health of my hair and um, encouraging growth and um, discouraging breakage and damage. So I hope that this is helpful to you. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more health and beauty videos. I take all natural very, very seriously. And um, we also have fun here just trying out different products. So if you're going to stick around and continue watching the video, I will see you in a second. Hello! So the first tip I have for you is to put your hair in some kind of protective hairstyle while you sleep. Um, I do very loose rope braids. Loose braids are a great way to protect your hair. Um, and I also use these great little silicone hair bands. They were the smallest ones that I could find and it's actually by a family owned business I believe in the UK. And I will link those down below. But they're really great. There's absolutely nothing to snag or damage your hair. Um, on silicone hair bands. So those are my sleep braids I take out and I am constantly learning, um, trying to figure out the best ways of, of protective hairstyles while you sleep. Um, I also use a silk pillowcase that helps a lot to protect your hair from damage. Um, now, I let my hair get really nice and greasy so that I could show you guys the actual um, process and uh, how this works with using a boar bristle hairbrush. This is a really good way to also help the health of your hair. Um, the bristles in the boar bristle brush uh, actually help push the oils, the natural oils in your hair um, throughout the length of your hair. Um, so it really helps spread those natural oils and your natural hair oil, your sebum, is actually very, very good for your hair. Um, it's very healthy for it, it's protective, and um, so spreading that to the ends of your hair is a really good way to kind of give a natural um, treatment uh, to your hair. And I brush through the whole thing and I take it up in sections, making sure that I really get at the roots. And then it's also very stimulating um, to your scalp as well. The boar bristles are really, really nice. Um, I don't know if this is actual real boar bristle or if it's, I know the real bristles, um, which is not vegan, but I know that those are better at spreading the oil. 
um, this might be a fake one. Um, but it still works pretty well. It's those kind of bristles and not just like the pegs that you have on a lot of normal brushes. So I take my hair in sections as well as just brush through the whole thing and I really just try to push that oil all the way through the ends of the hair. And you can see here it looks a lot smoother and shinier and healthier um, and not as dry at the ends than when I first started brushing where it looked kind of fluffy. All right, so hopping in the shower, this is probably the most important part about washing curly hair and encouraging those natural curls. What you want to do is flip your head upside down and pretty much everything you're gonna be doing in the shower with your hair is gonna be upside down. And this is what creates that kind of like anti-gravity effect. Um, if you wash them downwards, when you flip your hair back up, it'll really help the volume at the top of your head. If you wash your hair with your head up, that water is just gonna be pushing your hair flat. Um, so this is how you defy that uh, gravity and that power of water that kind of just pushes the curls out of your hair if you have softer curls um, like mine. This might not matter with somebody with kinky curly hair or very curly hair, um, but if you have larger ones like myself, um, it, makes a, it makes all the difference. So I'm using the Alafia shampoo and I just lay that over my scalp or lay that over the top of the hair at the head, just at the scalp and massage it in. I use my finger pads to massage it in, not my nails. Um, you don't want to be scratching your scalp. Um, you just wanna be gently massaging. And then I also take it in from underneath, slipping my fingertips into the roots there. And I do that from the front and from the sides and just continue massaging that in. This is also really great to help stimulate, not only break up the oils at your scalp, but also to help um, increase circulation and stimulate hair growth. Now one tip, you don't want to do really big motions. You wanna keep it small, so don't do that. You want to do small motions, um, circular motions, massaging your scalp. Uh, the big motions all around your whole head, it's fine for shorter hair, um, but for longer hair, it's like putting your hair in the washing machine. Like it's just gonna get pulled and um, like twisted at all different angles and stuff. And that's just gonna, it's gonna damage your hair. So you do small circular motions by section all throughout your scalp. Um, and then I find any spots that feel like I might have missed or still greasy spots. And repeat. And as you can tell, I'm not actually like shampooing, I'm not rubbing the shampoo into the length of my hair, but it does naturally fall down the length of it and it just kind of does a, like a cleansing rinse. So it doesn't strip the oils from the length of hair and that's also really important. Um, not to rub those, not to rub the shampoo into the length of hair, just to really help keep that healthy. Um, I'll even squeeze out the shampoo from the length and put that back on the scalp and reuse it to kind of keep massaging in any spots I feel like I missed. And what I do is just flip it up on top of my head like so and then this is where I actually need to really shower so I'll be right back okay swimsuit back on and all ready to continue the hair care routine so we're just going to I know it looks like all the shampoo is gone but it's just kind of fallen out um, with the rest of the showering uh, I didn't really have it in the water um, it just kind of you know slips out but we're gonna flip the head upside down and let the water, I like to have kind of cool or cold water when I feel I can handle it, um, just gently run over my hair and just rinse out the rest of that shampoo. Um, and again, just to be honest, taking that hair that naturally falls out in the shower. Yes, put it on the wall because you don't want it in the drain. Where else are you supposed to put it? 
And then you let your hair naturally curl in on itself in your palm as you scrunch that up to your head. And I do this just to squeeze out a lot of the extra water um, in the hair. Uh, it also starts the formation of the curl pattern. And that's just the way it curls naturally in your hand is just how it naturally curls. I do the same thing with a towel. Um, very, very gently. I never rub my hair with the towel. Um, I, for that matter, I, I don't rub my skin with it either. I, I pat dry. Um, just don't want anything too harsh. And then you flip that sucker back up. And we start with a leave-in conditioner. This is amazing stuff, or at least it was. Unfortunately, they reformulated and they added quote unquote natural fragrance to it. Um, which was not so natural because I it gives me a headache, so that was cool. Um, I'm gonna have to send that company a pretty strongly worded letter because I've been using their products for many, many years, and this was seriously the best curl enhancing conditioner with all natural that I've ever used, and they kind of ruined it. Um, so I'm using stuff that I had already. Luckily, I had a backup bottle as well, so I might have to either make one or find one in the future. And again, I'm just doing the same scrunch pattern um, and working it into my scalp very gently, just like with the shampooing. And you flip over to the side, do the same scrunch. Flip over to the other side to do this uh, Charlie Brown dance here. And gentle scrunch and scrunch. And if you have any parts that are kind of sticking to each other, um, you can just gently break those up. Sometimes the curls, they get tangled in on each other. So you can just gently break, break those up and then re-scrunch it just a little bit. And then you flip up and find that natural part. As you can see, I had to break up a little section that was stuck in the back. And you want all of these bumps. All those kind of curls, waves, bumps, the crazy stuff going on at the top of your head, that is exactly what you want. That is your natural curl formation. And you want to keep those from falling flat. So this is my hair care routine anytime I shower, um, but once a week I will also use this Just Nutritive protein and vitamin hair treatment. This has been really helping for the health and the growth of my hair. Um, it's more on the expensive side, this company, but they have incredible ingredients. And um, honestly, like it, it has, it lasts me so, so, so long. Um, so in that way, it's actually kind of cheap because you just have to use a tiny amount and it comes in a good sized bottle. So it'll last you a very long time. I rub that all throughout my hands, actually smells pretty good too, and my fingertips. And I give that the same kind of scrunch scrunch that we did with the conditioner. And I think a good tip is anytime you do anything with your roots, like I'm massaging that protein treatment into uh, my roots right now, you want to do it upside down um, just so that you're not breaking up those curls. Uh, with gravity having effect on them, um, which will just end up flattening them out. So I take those front pieces and want them out of my face while my hair is air drying. And I can use an alligator clip for that, or my um, personal favorite is to use these little hairpins. Um, it's not a bobby pin, it's an open hairpin, it's a small one. Um, and they honestly bobby pins are just too tight. They'll they will like flatten and crimp leave marks on your hair and stuff um, But these pins you just kind of twist them in there um, Pop them in there and Twisting up pushing up a little bit on the front there and I just kind of Push it in Lift and push so that it holds that hair into place um, and I like the pins better because it, it kind of looks like a hairstyle in and of itself um, and not like the alligator clips that are like, I'm waiting for my hair to do something. 
but all those bumps around the top of your head you definitely want um, those and now you don't touch it you don't don't touch it at all okay except if there's water dripping down and then you can take a towel and you'll see here when I remove the towel after this gentle scrunch how much that water can actually weigh down those curls so if you feel that kind of dripping still you can definitely take a towel and just soak up those ends a bit now no touchy no touchy touchy and let it air dry until it's all done and you can already see the curl pattern your natural curl pattern so that is the whole process that i go through to um, encourage my natural curls up until a few years ago i did not even know i had curly hair because i was washing and brushing my hair or combing my hair after showering while it was wet. If you have curly hair, brushing, combing your hair after you showered when it's wet, if you want your curls to stay in place, do not comb your hair, do not brush your hair. They will just, they'll disappear or they will frizz out. Um, the last thing I do, speaking of frizz, is to um, help smooth this out normally, especially the ones up here. This mermaid hair oil works amazing for that. I've had it in previous videos before. Unfortunately, I ran out um, and I don't know if I would be able to afford to get more anytime soon. So um, I might have a video or I might start doing a series where I go over all of the DIY skin and hair care stuff that I do that saves me a ton of money. So if you guys are interested in that, um, comment down below or like the pinned post that will be down below um, and we'll find out if you guys are interested in learning about how I do all of my DIY skincare. Um, but right now I'm just going to try and smooth out for a temporary solution, um, smooth out the frizz with a little bit of jojoba oil, which is one of the ingredients in the one from Captain Blankenship, the mermaid hair oil. I just kind of very gently run that over like the top layer of my hair and then scrunch it into the ends. And hopefully you'll be able to tell. You want to just on the outside, don't finger comb like I have pretty wide curls. I don't have kinky curly hair or really curly. Um, but they are uh, ringlet types, actual curls, not waves, um, especially. So you just, you do not <laughs> brush them out or comb them out in any way. Um, they will just disappear. If I comb my, if I want my hair to be straight basically with just like a tiny bit of wave but pretty much straight, all I have to do is comb it after showering. This is why I did not know for years that I actually had curly hair. So if you try this, you might be surprised. Um, if you wash your hair upside down and you get those bumps at the top, you'll know that that is the way your hair naturally comes out of your head and that's it means that your follicles are not straight. They are bent at some angle and then your hair grows out at that angle and that's what creates the curls. But if you disturb, the, the thing is to help your curls the most, just don't touch them as much as possible. Just don't mess with them. Air dry, let it be as natural as possible and that will help the most. So hopefully you can tell this side looks much smoother now. This side's still pretty frizzy. So we're gonna go ahead and just go over like the top layer, kind of get those frizz down. You can take the whole section and just do that. I will kind of sandwich between two hands and just get the top layer and then just kind of scrunch in from the bottom. And then I will press down more on the top just to make sure I don't have any big frizzes up there. There you have it. That is how to enhance your natural curls. Um, the title will have what my 
curl type is so that you can compare. Obviously, this is probably going to be different from different types of curls, but um, if you tend to have straightish to wavyish hair, you might have curlier hair than you think. Um, as long as you are washing um, and drying your hair the way you're supposed to for curly hair, then you will find out for sure.